Hi, I'm Jason Robinson. I'm the Assistant Manager of Technical Service for North America. Uh, today, we're going to be doing a robot tutorial, show you how easy it is to program and run the robot. This is the robot teach pendant. On the front of the pendant, you have a display panel, keypad, teach playback selection, an e-stop, and on the back side you have an enabling switch. The enabling switch has three positions in order to turn the servo power onto the robot so that you can move the robot around, you have to hold that in the second position. So the first position, there's no servo power. In the third position, there's no servo power. When you hold the enabling switch in the second position, servo power is on the robot and you can move it around. You move the robot around using the axis keys on the front of the teach button here. The X, Y, and Z are going to move the robot in reference to the table in the X plus and minus, which is forward and backward. The Y plus and minus, which is right and left. And the Z plus and minus, which is up and down. To the right of those keys, you've got the torch angle keys or the, the rollabout keys, RX, RY, and RZ. When you utilize these keys, it changes the torch angle. That is RX negative. This is RX positive. RY will roll the torch back and forward. And RZ will rotate around the Z axis, like so. And that's how you adjust your torch angle. All right, now we're gonna move the robot around. The first thing we need to know about moving the robot around is what's called coordinate. And that is shown here on the teach pendant. And you can change that from robot coordinate, tool coordinate, and joint coordinate. I'm gonna show you a little bit about how the robot moves around in joint coordinate. Joint is gonna be each joint individually. So X is joint one, Y is joint two, Z is joint three, RX four, RY five, RZ six. So when we move that in the plus or minus, you'll see that just the first joint moves R, Y is gonna be up in the wrist in RX, okay? Switch over to robot coordinate and that is going to move the robot in reference to the base of itself in the X, Y, and Z coordinate system, all the while maintaining the same torch posture. If you wanna change the torch posture, again, that's the RX, RY, and RZ. And that changes rollabout X, rollabout Y, rollabout Z. Now the tool coordinate, it's real similar to the robot coordinate in that it moves in an XYZ plane, but it moves in a plane that's not tied to the base of the robot anymore, but to the tool itself. So now our X, Y, and Z is gonna change dependent on the angle of the torch. So let me demonstrate. If I change the RX and the RY, you're now going to see the Z plane change in reference to the torch. So Z plus, Z minus, X plus, and X minus. I bring the torch around like this, you can see how those coordinates follow the torch angle, okay? When you're programming, most of the time, you're gonna use the robot coordinate. Now, the speed at which the robot moves is selected right here for manual speed. And you can just touch that, change from a speed of one through five. Five is the speed here. One is gonna be an incremental speed, which basically moves about one millimeter for every time the key is depressed. So you're obviously only gonna use that when you're fine tuning the program. 
All right. The next thing we need to talk about is interpolation. And that's how the robot moves from one point to the next when you program those points in space. And that is displayed here on the teach pendant. Right now, joint interpolation is displayed. When I switch that to linear, you can see that it changes to line. Joint is from point A to point B in the fastest manner possible. Linear is going to be in a straight line, and then circular is gonna move in an arc. There's two circular commands, C1 and C2. C1 is the middle point in the arc, C2 is the ending point. If you're gonna continue along a circle, you just program more C2s as it progresses around that arc. Let's go ahead and create a program. The first thing we want to do is call the program up that we want to write. And that's done with the program key right here. You'll notice that that program key is green in color, the top portion of that key. It's step and program. That means that you have to hold down the enable key to utilize the green portion of that key. So enable program. The display screen will come up with the Program selection, you punch in the number that you want to write the program in. We're going, to, we're going to go ahead and select number three. All right. You'll see here that program number three is displayed in the top corner. And we're going to go ahead and record the robot in its current position. So we'll call this the home position. And we want to record that in a joint interpolation. Okay. We select joint interpolation. Right over here, there's a key that says record. We press that, and it records that point in space. All right. So now, we're going to refer, first record this straight line over here on the table. Um, so in order to start doing that, we've already recorded the first point. We want to move the robot down and kind of towards that first point. We also want to adjust our torch angle a little bit as we go. So we're just gonna go in the Y minus, stand the torch straight up, about like that, and hit record. And that records that point in space. Now, as we get a little bit closer to the table, we don't wanna crash, so we're gonna adjust our speed down to three. That'll allow us to move the robot around fairly quickly but not crash into it. So there's our start position, and we're gonna record that in a linear interpolation. So in order to change that, hold enable, press the L, changes it to linear, and then we hit record. And it records that point in space in a linear interpolation. Now we're gonna go ahead and move the robot over. So we're gonna go Y minus, until we get to this red dot here. And about right there, and hit record. Okay, now we're gonna bring the robot up, Z plus, record that point in space. You'll notice that every time I hit record, it records the same interpolation that I did on the previous step. Now, if I wanna record another point in the joint interpolation, I have to change that by enable and the, the P for a P move or joint interpolation. I move the robot out. We're going to start to kind of head back to the home position. Change that torch angle back up about like that and hit record. And you'll see that it records in the joint interpolation. Now, we're going to do a little bit of a shortcut, and we're going to go up to line number one, and we're going to use these check go and check back keys. These are used to block forward and backward through your program. The reason I went back up to line one is I already have the home position program. I'm going to go ahead and press and hold the check go key. 
and it's going to go to line number one. You'll notice when it gets to that position in space, the line will highlight yellow. That way I know it's there. Now I'm going to go ahead and arrow all the way down to the bottom again, line number six, and I'm going to hit record. And that's going to record our last step of the program. The very end of the program, we have to have what's called a end statement. And that is on the bottom of the pendant here. We hold enable, press it because it's green, and it'll put the end statement in the program. We've just completed that program. Now, once you create a program, you want to check the program. And like I previously said, the go and back will go forward or backwards through the program. So if I press and hold check go, every time I press it, it'll go to the next line. So now we go to line two, line three, line four, five, six, and seven. And that's how you teach a simple linear movement. Okay, now that we know how to teach a straight line, we go through teaching an arc, or a simple circle in this case. All right, the first thing we do again, select the program number that we want to record. So we're gonna hold enable, press the program key, the display screen will come up, we're going to select program number four for this one. So punch in four and enter. You'll see that program four is displayed up in the program display area. Again, we're in the home position, so we want to record this point in space. So we hit record. It records that point right where the robot is. All right, now, since we're going to be programming over here, we want to move the robot over into this area. So we're going to go a little bit over on Y plus, Z minus, bring it down towards the table, and then also again that R Y minus, bring the torch straight up and down. All right, we're going to shoot for this point as our first point. All right, about right there, and hit record. Now, Come down a little bit closer, turn our speed down again, just like we did on the first program. And we're gonna get about two to three inches above that first point. We call those a par uh, approach and departure points. Hit record. And then come down until you are real close to that red dot. Now I'm gonna go ahead and slow down the motion of the robot a little bit more. And again, since this is our approach point, we wanna bring the torch down in a linear interpolation. So we're gonna hold down the enable, press the L key, changes it to linear, and record. And you'll see that that point is now recorded in linear. Now our first point in the circle is going to be over here. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and move the robot over to that position. So we're going to come up on X over on Y. Again, slowing our speed down. All right, that's good there. Now we're going to select the circular interpolation. So enable and C and you'll see in the teach screen here, it has changed to circular. And then we hit record. Now, as I previously explained, there's two circular moves, a middle and an end circle. A middle is a C1, or a circular one. That is gonna be the middle of the arc. The end, or C2, is gonna be our next point. Uh, you don't have to change anything. The robot will automatically select the C2 interpolation for you. So again, we bring our speed up. Go out on X, over on Y. Bring the speed down. We get the position just a little bit closer. There we go. 
and hit record. You'll see that it recorded that point in a circular two interpolation. It selects that automatically for you. Now, if we want to continue around this circle, we just continue to put in C2 commands. Bring our speed up. Get close to the position, bring our speed back down again. Okay, about there. And hit record. Again, C2. Get back to where we started to complete the circle. Bring our speed back down. and record. So you can see the first circular move, this one here, is a C1 on line 5 and the remainder are C2s, lines 6, 7, and 8. Now we want to go to our departure point, so we're going to Z plus about 2 to 3 inches above the part. We're going to change our interpolation to linear and we're going to hit record. Okay. Now we'll program our joint moves to get back to the home position. Start to put our gun angle back to that home position. Get about halfway back, change our interpolation to joint, and press record. Now we're going to do the same little shortcut that we did with the last program. Go up to line number one, press the go button. It goes to that position. Go back down to line 10 and hit record. And now the home position's there. We put the end statement in and we're done. Now to check the program, again, check go, check back. So we're gonna start out at home, line two, three, Four. and you can see that the interpolation of the robot automatically cal calculates the arc based on the points that you programmed. And back home. And that's how you teach a circular motion.